hello hello and welcome to my channel i am kat the nurse flipper and today i am going to show you how to cross post from your main platform no matter what that might be my main platform is ebay and i cross post to poshmark mercari and facebook i use list perfectly and i'm going to do a tutorial i'm also gonna give you guys the pros and cons of what i think of each of the platforms that i do cross post on we'll go over some information and then we'll go over there to the computer screen and i will share my screen and we will walk through cross posting several items so that you can see exactly what you have to do using list perfectly and how much easier it makes it i made about twenty thousand dollars on other sites besides ebay ebay is my main platform so these other sites were an additional 20,000 in income that I would not have had. So let's go ahead and start talking about the pros and cons of these platforms. All right, so it is a messy bun, bedhead kind of day today. I want to first start off by telling you guys how much I made on these other platforms in the last year. So I made 26,000 on eBay in the last 90 days. I made over 80,000 on eBay on my main account in the last year. On Poshmark, I have made about $4,500 in the last year. Mercari, I've made almost $11,000 and facebook i have made about six thousand dollars in about a six month span since i started using it so i'm going to go over the pros and cons of each of these platforms with you with what is good and what is bad i do want to say because i did get a question first off the nice thing about the three platforms that i cross post to is that they don't charge you any fees to list so unless your item sells you're paying no fees there's no store fees there's nothing like that so beyond the list perfectly subscription which we will go over the different levels of that when we get over to the computer beyond that you are not paying anything extra to do this so let's start off with facebook marketplace first i would like to say i do not accept offers on facebook marketplace because i have the option to turn it off on the other two flat platforms unfortunately you cannot turn off offers so on facebook marketplace i do not take offers that is number one facebook marketplace is a 10 percent fee so most of my ebay fees end up running me about 15 to 20 percent so facebook is definitely lower they were running it at five percent but i believe it has increased to ten percent so when you're selling on facebook and i don't have anything popped up here like i am going to for mercari or poshmark because facebook makes it virtually impossible to find like a sales year to date total i had to go through all of my sales to try and figure out an approximate amount to tell you guys so with facebook one of the things that has annoyed a lot of people that i have heard is that they are not getting paid i know facebook and pretty much any platform is going to want your social security number because they're going to report your sales to the irs i'm not getting into taxes with you guys i would seek an accountant that is what i do i use an accountant for all of my bookkeeping so that is a totally different subject however facebook's policy is you ship the item once the buyer receives it you get your payment in five days so it is a little bit longer they actually have just added the option to get paid into paypal which is what i'm doing and then i'm transferring it all at the end of the week because getting all of these little different individual transactions was kind of annoying to me so now they all go into paypal and every friday i am transferring that so i know how much i have made from facebook so facebook is been pretty decent for me a lot of vintage items have sold well i've also sold clothing there and some of you asked do i cross post everything everywhere the answer to that is yes i know a lot of people that pick and choose what they're cross posting over i have my mom cross post for me she was helping me list and that wasn't going too great um her picture skills left a little to be desired to put it nicely so i wanted to find something that my mom could do that 
would help my business and I could pay her because my mom does need extra income and unfortunately I am not well off enough to just give my mom money. So I do pay my mom $150 a week. For three days she comes over and cross posts everything. All of my listings currently except for the ones I have listed the past two days are all cross posted onto every single platform. I find that the easiest for me because my mom's doing it. If I were doing it myself, I might do it a little bit different, but probably not because it's easier to just go through everything, put it onto all the platforms that I do and be done with it. As far as when an item sells, if an item sells on any of the other three platforms, if it sells on Facebook, Mercari, Poshmark, I immediately, as soon as I get that notification, no matter what time it is, I delete it off of eBay. eBay is the one that is going to penalize you harder than any of the other platforms. And Facebook's cancellation rate they want you under before they start kind of penalizing you is 10%. So keep that in mind. And what before we get into Mercari and Poshmark, what I have found the easiest to do is when I sit down to look at my orders that are shipping out that day, I go ahead and cancel them on the other platforms because eBay sells probably 10 times more items than the other platforms typically. So when I go to ship them out, I just go to the other platforms and I remove them. Mine is Poshmark, which doesn't have a search feature for its closet, which is super annoying. But so I have a lot of cancellations on Poshmark because I have 3000 items listed and I can't search them and I'm not scrolling for hours and hours. I've been doing like five to 10 minutes of scrolling per day and like pulling off items I see. But Mercari and Facebook both do have options to search your store so that you can pull those items that sold on eBay off. Now List Perfectly does have a function where you can put your items into their catalog and then you just click one button that it sold and it pulls it from all the platforms. But because I didn't start using that, I have not started. I have thought about it, tossed it back and forth, but I still have not done it. So let's go ahead and talk about Poshmark. And I will pop Poshmark's stats up on the other side of the screen while I am talking to you about Poshmark. So Poshmark, I have made about $4,500 and you would probably think it's mostly closed. However, that is not the case. Poshmark for me has been a little more of home goods sales. I have sold breakables. I have sold clothing and shoes. I am not a trendy person. If you guys don't notice, I am like t-shirt and leggings or jeans or work scrubs. That's it. So if you do know clothing and shoe brands and like what is trending, Poshmark is great for that. I will tell you one of the things that annoys me a lot about Poshmark is I get a ton of lowball offers. And by that, I mean under 50%. That is what I classify as a lowball offer. But what I do is just decline. The nice thing is a lot of those offers are on things that already sold on eBay and I just decline them and then I delete the item and that is that. So Poshmark has the highest amount of fees out of any of these platforms. Poshmark's fee is 20% and it's even lower on or even higher on lower dollar items. I am not sure what, but I know if you sell an item under $10, you're pretty much getting like two or three bucks and it's not worth it. So Poshmark has the high fees, but the nice thing for your buyers and for you is Poshmark has the same price for shipping up to five pounds. So on Poshmark, you don't want to list any really heavy items. You can buy an additional label up to 10 pounds, but I think it's $20 extra. So if you're listing heavy stuff, make sure you have the room and the profit to pay for Poshmark's fee for the extra label. And I did mention this in my video yesterday with Poshmark, you can use any of the free USPS shipping supplies. That includes all of the flat rate boxes and include shoe boxes, number seven, tubes, whatever you want with Poshmark, it is all priority. So that is one thing I love about Poshmark. And Poshmark, as far as sharing, I actually have a program that I use to share. I do not click and share anything myself. I figure if people want to find it, they will find it. So again, another subject. So now let's go ahead and talk about Mercari. So Mercari's fees are the lowest of all of these platforms or they're actually equal with 
Facebook and Mercari's fees are 10%. So Mercari for me has been a little all over the place as far as what is selling. I have sold shoes there. I've sold breakables there. I, back in my palette days, actually sold baby beds, like cribs, big, big items because Mercari's shipping is the cheapest next to Poshmark. So for heavy items, Mercari beats the shipping hands down. They must have some great contract with UPS or FedEx and their prices are just extremely, extremely cheap. So Mercari is great for that. All of these are apps that you use on the phone and we are going to go over exactly how to cross post to these different platforms here in a few minutes. So with Mercari, I've made over $11,000 making it my second highest platform as of right now next to eBay. With Mercari, Facebook, and Poshmark, you are going to get a wide variety, wide variety you are going to get a wide variety of customers. So there are going to be a lot of customers that don't use eBay that are on Poshmark or that use Poshmark but aren't on eBay or Mercari. And then same thing with Facebook. So what cross posting is doing is expanding your customer base. You're reaching different audiences that you would not reach if you were only on eBay. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, eBay tends to be an older crowd like my 22 year old niece that was cross posting for me and helping me list for a while had never even been on eBay. So that goes to show me that the younger crowd typically is not using eBay as a site to buy and that's why I feel cross posting to these other sites helps. Now list perfectly will also cross post to Depop to Grailed, which both of those are more men's clothing. They are good for vintage, for hats, things like that. I do not do either of those. They also cross post to Kitizen, which is great if you have kids clothing items or shoes or anything like that. I don't do that. I will tell you guys Ginger Marvin, her name is Kathy and her husband's name is Chris. They have a lot of videos about Kitizen that could be extremely helpful. And as far as centering on Poshmark, Becky Park on Poshmark is absolutely wonderful as far as helping with like what is in style and what brands are selling well on Poshmark. So those two channels as far as like Kitizen and Poshmark are absolutely wonderful. And as far as like everything, it also cross posts to Etsy and like four other platforms that I've never heard of. For me, four platforms is plenty enough for me to deal with because you do have to if you're not using the list perfectly way you do have to individually go and remove these items as they sell it is honestly not that bad even selling 10 to 20 items a day to go and just search and pull them like i said i only pull off poshmark and facebook but it is not that big of a deal I would recommend to you guys if you are on eBay as your main platform or if you have another main platform, make sure you feel comfortable with what is going on there and your listing process there before you cross post. Don't jump too early and overwhelm yourself and stress yourself out for absolutely no reason. So let's go ahead. Let's go over to the computer. Let's look at list perfectly plan so that you can see the prices and what you get for that. And I will tell you before we jump over there, I do have a code, the nurse flipper, all one word, no spaces. And that will allow you to get a 30% discount off of your first month of list perfectly if you would like to try it. So we'll look at like what each tier gives you and then we are going to actually walk through and we will go ahead and cross post a few items to each of those three platforms that I do so you can see exactly how it's done. Let's go. All right, so here are the three plans. They have the simple plan, the business plan, and the pro plan. Simple is 29 per month, business is 49 per month, and pro is $69 per month. The pro plan is what I personally use. And you can see here the platforms, the simple will go to eBay, Poshmark, Depop, TradeZ, Grailed, Etsy, Facebook, Mercari, Kitizen, and Heroine. Now there are unlimited products, but the big thing here that I'm circling is the simple plan does not allow 
bulk cross posting so you can only cross post one item at a time and in my sample you will see me doing three items at one time the other thing is it only copies the image title and description which does lessen your work but it's not as nice as the business plan which copies image title description price msrp upc color size material keywords brand and quantity it also copies over your custom SKU, which is a really nice feature as well and that allows you to be able to cross post faster which is why this plan costs more i again do use the pro plan which adds on the condition the shipping weight the dimensions the quantity the skew and it converts inches to centimeters which that i don't really use so it does offer you quite a bit additional in the pro plan which is 69 dollars a month but making an extra one to two thousand per month for me it is worth the 69 dollars so here you will see that and the simple plan it does not do auto image resize so if you don't use one-to-one -one pictures your pictures will get cut off with the simple plan and you will have to adjust them yourself but in the business and pro plan it does and here you can see there are custom templates those i do not use so i can't really go over the advantages of those and there is image hosting for all three levels of plan and also you can draft listings only in the pro plan not in the simple or the business plan so again here are your prices the simple is 29 dollars a month which is good to start with the business is 49 dollars per month and the pro is 69 dollars monthly which is the plan i use so all of what you're going to see as far as what is copied is a benefit of having the pro plan so if you're just starting off the simple 29 dollars a month plan will let you kind of get used to the program and see if you like it the business plan will copy over some more items and allow that bulk cross posting and then the 69 dollars a month plan will copy over all of these different specifics making it much easier for you to cross post and a lot less work for you to do as well which means to me that you can cross post more all right so now we are on my ebay site i did click on listings so that i can see all of my listings and if you see here the custom label is where i mark so that i know if the item has been cross posted none of these you're seeing here have been cross posted yet so we will go down and here you see i put a asterisk and a number sign that to me denotes that they have been cross posted i used to just use the at sign somehow mom added a number symbol but that is kind of whatever that way we know what we have already cross posted so if you see down here this stuff has not been put up that's why it doesn't have a custom SKU. but here you can see it says e3 so that way i know that is where the item is and then the at and the numbers show me that it is already cross posted so what you will have to do if you haven't signed in recently is if you see the little green over here on the left that is the button you use to cross post now you see it says to log into list perfectly so i am going to go to list perfectly and click on my login button in order to cross post you have to have logged in in a few days i do want to show you here they do have a three-day money back guarantee you would click sign up there next to log in to get started and this is just some of the benefits again that they offer so when you're ready to cross post you see it said log in to list perfectly so that is what i'm going to do i'm not sure why it doesn't stay logged in but if you haven't cross posted in a while that's what you need to do now it says software here 
and that is where you'll go to make sure you have the current version. I try to check this about once a month just to make sure because sometimes there are bugs and they will go in and fix them, which is nice. I know recently only the first picture of Facebook listings were going and that is now fixed. So I have now logged in. I can click those green arrows and I click where I want it to go. So I, I list to Mercari, Poshmark, and then Facebook. And up at the top, you can see the list perfectly symbol. That is where you would put your listing into list perfectly catalog to utilize the function I was talking about earlier to end the listing on all platforms. You would need it in list perfectly catalog. So after you choose the platforms you want it to go to, if you only wanted to do Poshmark or Mercari or only Facebook, you would just click those. You click copy and then you can see it says processing. So now you just sit here. So and what happened here is I hadn't signed into eBay in a while. So you do have to sign into eBay. Otherwise it will actually freeze up and the cross posting will not resume. So now it's pulling up my first listing, but it's actually sitting there not doing anything. So what I do when this happens is I go ahead and close that tab and then I go back over to my eBay tab and I refresh the page. And here again, now it will show you that I am logged in and now I can go to my items and I want to share them. But if I want to multi do, I hit that start selecting button up at the top, which is what I'm going to do now. So now it says start selecting. And if your internet's fast enough, you could do more than three. We're just going to do three for this demonstration. So I'm going to choose the three I want. And then I will click those green arrows and then I choose which platform. So you could choose one platform, two platform, how many ever platforms you want. So we are going to choose Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook because those are the three and we will click copy. And you see the other tabs popping up there at the top. That is list perfectly going to work and it is already going ahead to Mercari, Facebook, and Poshmark. So here is the Mercari screen. And in this screen, you will see it is filled out a lot. It does not fill out the category for me. So it does have the pictures there. It has copied all of them without me doing anything. And Mercari's title is short. This one actually doesn't cut off at a bad place. So I will go ahead and scroll down and you could add hashtags if you want it. I do not do that, but you do need to select a category. So mine is sheets here and I'm going to choose home and then I will choose bedding and then I am going to choose sheets. And it's already filled out the brand for me, which is nice. You can do the color, but that is optional. I just skip it. So here is my zip code and then you see Mercari shipping. Now it has 1150 for UPS ground. So I am actually going to click on that and you can click edit shipping and that way you can change. So it says three pounds and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down there to where it says select carrier. And you can see Mercari actually has a great deal with FedEx. So I can ship this FedEx for only $7.99 versus $11.50, which will save my buyers $3.50 and make my item more appealing and faster to sell. And that is also $4 cheaper than USPS. So I select that one. I want the buyer to pay shipping. I do not do free shipping. If you want to print your own labels, you can click on ship your own if you wanted to print them on pirate ship or if you had to bring them to the post office. So here is my pricing. It has copied my price over. Smart pricing, I turn off. Mercari drops the price pretty fast. So here you'll see for a $29 item, I make $24. I click list and it is up on Mercari. And you can see all my pictures came across there. And that is it for Mercari. And we just close that tab. And now we are on Poshmark. You see the pictures are there. 
my title is there and you notice Poshmark gives a few more characters than Mercari which is nice and my description is there as well now with the simple plan your description is not going to be can't copied over so you would need to either type a description or copy that yourself and I'm going to choose home on Poshmark I'll choose bedding and then sheets and this one I actually have two of so it already knows I had multi quantity item I'm going to pick my size which is twin and then I will put that I have two of them available so that buyers know and it is not new with tags it's already filled in my brand I don't fill in the colors on Poshmark they do require you to put an original price I always just put zero and then they do allow you to discount shipping that is not something I do nor is that something that I would recommend and I love Poshmark because it will share to Pinterest Facebook and Twitter I don't share to Facebook because I don't want to spam my friends and family with my items and then I just click list item and then we will close that tab and now we are on Facebook so you see the pictures are already there I am going to choose my category and I will not fill in color because I just want to cross post as fast as I can and I do not want to boost my listing after publishing which is something that you do have to pay for on Facebook so we will turn that off and then we forgot to put up top that this was a used item and it is not letting me hit next so we will put condition and we will pick used and it's not in like new condition it's in good condition so I want to make sure I accurately reflect that we will hit next and then on the weight you can see it says three pounds you can pick either USPS for $12 or UPS so I choose UPS or USPS as often as possible that's just easier for me to drop off now you can cover the cost and do it free and it's nice it tells you your total payment down there which would be $26.95 on these bed sheets and then we will come down and we will hit next and I do not allow offers as I said that is something if you would like to do you can but my preference on Facebook is not to and then we will hit next again and here you can see you could publish to local groups if you wanted to sell locally but that is not something that I want to do so I just do the marketplace I click publish and it's saying it's in review sometimes if it's certain name brands they'll review it and then that is that and we will close Facebook and then we will automatically go over to another Mercari so as we're closing tabs we're just listing 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 so this is my little mermaid blanket now you can see with Mercari's short title here my word flounder got cut off so I am actually going to delete that because it looks funny and Mercari the nice thing is the actual descriptions are searchable so your description that copies over will still be found and here I am again going to select my category I'm selecting home and then I will select bedding and I will come down and find throws which is what this is it already filled in Disney again if you don't have a business or pro it is not going to fill a lot of these out so you would have to do it yourself and Mercari defaults to UPS so what I'm doing is selecting carrier FedEx which is again $7.99 and going to save my buyer $3.50 50 cents actually four dollars so mercari here is suggesting i price it at 17 dollars but this throw is very rare so i'm going to ignore their recommendation i turned off smart pricing and we click list and that one is listed and here it is again on poshmark so as we go through closing the tabs you can see we're just cross posting cross posting cross posting and it is not taking us very long you will see the stuff with a star and these platforms will not let you hit next and go on to the next section until you have filled out what they want you to fill out 
So here it has already filled out the size, which is why I love Pro. It fills out the most items. Again, put zero for original price. And then I will hit next, turn off Facebook so I don't spam my friends, hit list my item. And that one is done. And now we are on Facebook. So here we are going to pick our category again. And again, most of this optional stuff I don't do. I turn off the boost listing. I forgot condition again. So we're going to put used good. And then we will look at the shipping. This one's actually under two pounds. So what I will do is come up here and put one pound in eight ounces. And then the shipping dropped down to $9 from $10.70. So you want to kind of have an accurate idea. And so here I would make $41.35. I did put it up on the screen a little bit earlier, but Facebook apparently is still only doing 5% on fees. Again, I do not allow offers. I only list on perfect on <laughs> marketplace and you can list in your local if you want to every time it's in review, which is totally normal. And then I close this and now we are on our third item, which is this beach throw. So again, the word diameter got cut off. So I just delete that. I'm going to pick towels here and I'm just leaving this under bath towels. I'm not super picky on what category my stuff is in. I did click unlisted because this was a no name brand. It is in good condition. Again, it defaulted to UPS to that $11.99. We're going to change it to FedEx $7.99 so that our buyer saves money. And you can, of course, click ship on your own. There is our price and the fees are $2.90 and $1.14. We will turn off smart pricing and then we will hit list and that one will be live. Here is Poshmark, that same listing. But here you can see Poshmark allows you more characters in the title. And we have got to choose our category over on Poshmark. This one is home bedding. And I put none because I didn't see towels. And I'm not going to take the time to find a category that has towels. So it is a single item. You do have to put one size every time. You can see Poshmark carried over the brand for me, which is unbranded. You do have to put an original price of zero and you can offer discounted shipping. I don't turn off Facebook, hit list and we close our tab and on to Facebook. So again, pictures are over. I am not going to forget this time to put the condition of my item. So it will, and actually this time list perfectly already put it over there, which it did not do the other time. So that is nice. And notice here you could add variants if you had different colors or different sizes. So I forgot to click off boost listing after publishing here. And I went ahead and clicked next. You'll see here in a minute what happened. So this one again, I believe is about two pounds. We will pick UPS for shipping, but I'm going to see if one pound 13 ounce, which is just shy, is less than it is. It is only $9 using USPS priority mail. We will hit next. We do not allow offers. We do not list any of the local groups. We hit publish. So what is happening here is I accidentally left that thing turned on that said I wanted to boost my post. So what it's trying to get me to do is pay to boost it, which is essentially the same as eBay's promoted listings. However, that is not something that I choose to do. So again, here is the list perfectly page. If you guys would like to sign up, you can use my code, the nurse flipper. I hope that you guys have learned a lot and it is so, so easy. It has only taken us about 10 minutes to cross post three items to three platforms. Here are your levels of membership again. 
and remember with the simple you cannot bulk cross post so you would be able to do one item to multiple platforms at the same time you just couldn't start all three like you saw me do you would only be able to start one I hope that that helped you guys as far as cross posting and kind of helped alleviate some of your fears explain things so you could see hands-on exactly what to do when you are cross posting again don't forget i do have the code the nurse flipper all one word no spaces if you would like to try this perfectly and get 30 percent off definitely go check it out if you have any other questions ask me down in the comments or you can always instagram me the same name if you're not following me on instagram you should be following me on instagram so i hope you guys have had a Good weekend so far tomorrow i am going to be putting out a video on how to list an item from start to finish and somebody asked me to include international shipping in that so we will go over that i will see you guys tomorrow with another great video enjoy your weekend thank you so much for taking time out to spend with me and i will see you tomorrow bye guys <laughs>